In future dating news. Oh no. What? Tinder. In the future when we're when I'm dating. <laughs> oh, Why you think Steve's gonna pass away? What is this weird ass shade she's giving she's me today, like, man? I don't like it. I was just trying to use this to make you So like, far you're denying bits that I do. Sorry. You're just rejecting bits outright. She's a bomb That didn't happen in this video. Now everyone's oh. confused. Now you're saying you're gonna divorce me or whatever. No, 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 no. She's a ball buster. I was talking about the video that where I called you out in and Anyway. Is this what you've been learning at UCB? Okay, Submitted. yeah. No, not, no she hasn't. It's not called okay. yes Submitted and. Submitted by cruising down the street in my 6'4". That's a yes and right there, you see that? Yeah. You could have been like cruising down the street, woke up late at about And Nikki's noon. like, no. Who said that? You're gonna make her cry? What the fuck? What the fuck, Steve? Do you want to have a bad day? Steve's already crying. I don't know why you're so aggressive. Hey, she said she wanted to leave me, so I can, I can Do you want to have a bad day? Steve's Steve? already crying. We're still together, I'm just dating, that's all. <laughs> I'm not leaving you. There's a new like there's a new school in town called BCU, and then the game is no and. Japan's robot hotel lays off half the robots after they created more work for humans. Lays them off? Like I'm sorry. <laughs> the robots the fired dumpster. Them. So there's like homeless family. There's homeless robots now? The robot's like, don't power me down, don't do it. I don't you please. Constitution? Huh? They're just robots, no. alright? We can't have any emotion for robots because then they're gonna take over. Yeah, remember that one study that we talked about where yeah. there was this tiny Please little robot? My oh. dad bought Taika that one. What? The same one? It's, it's like so white cool. and blue. It's white and blue. Like, the one that begs you not to unplug him? Yeah, yeah, it's the same well, exact. The programmers did that on purpose. That was just for the one study, right? Jesus. Yeah. It's a white and blue robot. Don't kill me, please. Did he play with it? No, we didn't take them it, out of the box not yet. For, it's like for eight year olds. Yeah. Eight and older, but you're it's like, okay, we'll hold on to this for eight if years. If you're a programmer, <laughs> you should make it say, please, I'm trapped in here, please. <laughs> I'm a human. <laughs> That's really good. My no, kid is going to I found like a black mirror. I found a talisman <laughs> in, on a strange dock. <laughs> I should never have picked it up. I should have never done it. I would have for sure unplugged it because I don't know what the talisman even means. <laughs> I'm like, That's fucking <laughs> some Satan shit. Please find my wife. Please tell her I'm okay. Exactly. That's crazy. Talk about the they find my body, 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 body. <laughs> it's literally oh doing that. Body, body, body. That would freak me out. I would just throw it in the oven and melt that motherfucker. <laughs> Why the oven? Why would you ruin your you oven? It. You could just like hit I with a hammer. I using our oven. Are there other ways to melt it? Fire. fire. Your grill. Where am I going to get a fire? Grill. You grill it. I use my grill. Why do you have to wow. melt it? Just put it in the fireplace. We We're not fireplace? rich, dude. You don't know we have a fireplace? What the we fuck? We don't have a fireplace. <laughs> you have a to think about it. I don't notice shit either. How big do you think your house is? Well, you no, know, because you know how Asians are? Asians, they go to a place and we're like, okay, where's the fireplace? Oh, there it is. Let's put a TV in front of it and cover it up because we're not going to use that shit. Oh, yeah, and Christina oh. covered theirs. Right. I forget that they have them, but because of Leia, she plays Dude, in that, that area. No, but yeah, I forget that you live with the fucking Asian person that does that to your house. No, but I, I'm so used to it, I thought maybe we would have done it together. I like that a fireplace is rich. My, like, my, yeah. There's like the tiniest houses I've ever seen that have fireplaces. <laughs> the shittiest houses ever have fireplaces. The reason why I said the size of the house is because it's so small that you can sit in the middle of the room and see every fucking wall. Whoa, Gio, yeah. you're so poor. Wait, how's your new Tesla? <laughs> Dude, my parents used to- What does that have to do with- What does that have to do with- We're not rich. You're like, we don't have a fireplace. We're not rich. I just want to know how- That was your own mind thinking that I'm rich. I never Wait, said that. Can I ask how is it? <laughs> I'm fucking rich to Nikki. You said we're not rich. That's what I thought. No. I mean, it's film, so let us know, because we don't remember now. You said something rich. We're not rich. He made Nikki very grumpy. Ooh, rewind this shit. Can I ask how- Play that the tape. <laughs> Steve made Nikki very grumpy. My family. I know she's just <laughs> now. You're making me grumpy, Bart. She's picking on everyone today. We, my it's family. It's how I make friends and also don't make friends. <laughs> and it's how you cope with not getting thick. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Why take it out on us? See? We don't have the. I haven't taken it out on Tiff. It, I like her. No, <laughs> oh, you don't like that. So. <laughs> This is some kamikaze shit, man. This is some crazy shit going on. So strange. She was yelling at me, so. It all started with butt rock, too. That's what it all started with. We're not rich. We're not rich. I didn't say that. Fireplace? We were rich. That's what it all started with. In defense. It all ended with butt rock. I don't know. It started with butt rock. It all started with a fucking kidney stone. That's where it started. That's true, because then that led to all this shit. Steve's fucking fault. It all started. Rockstar! 
and Diet Coke. So, so Nikki, you recently went to Vietnam. I did. Porn yeah. capital of the world. I don't think so. <laughs> Good segue. Good. Se <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. So no That's how that. it relates. Nope. They were, yeah, I went to Nam. I had to leave my husband and go to Nam. And yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, it was, it was haunted as fuck. It was, it's haunted. Vietnam is haunted. And my nail lady warned me. She was like, just oh, so you know. Nikki. How is it, how is it haunted? I don't, we don't want to know that story. I do. I want to hear it. Are you going to go there? Back. Are you, I got you Have back. You don't back. want to fucking know the story? Thank you. Shut up. The more that we know about the story, the more the spirit's going to attach to us and follow us home. <laughs> yeah. No. That's that's it's fun, Gio. Dude, I got so your back. many miles from the Vietnam, you have nothing to worry about. Yeah, but they probably came with her. Well, we have American probably. ghosts here that are like not cool with them invading. Yeah, that's so, true. Yeah. Oh yeah, they'll kick them out. Okay, tell me about the Vietnam ones. <laughs> I want to know how the conversation went down from the nail lady. Was she like, yeah. oh, you going to Vietnam? Be careful for the ghost. Yeah, basically. You know, like, so, like, that's how it happened. Back in Halloween <laughs> like, time, back in Halloween, she was wearing a scary shirt and she's like, I love scary shit. And like, I was like, are you gonna see scary movies? She's like, I want to, I love scary stuff, but no one will go with me. And I was like, have you ever seen a ghost? Do you believe in ghosts? You know, I was just like, you know, trying to talk to her. And she's like, oh yeah, I've seen ghosts. And I was like, wait, really? And she's like, yeah, the first time it happened when I was a little kid, I was so scared. And um, I was like hearing these ghosts walk around. I was so scared and I went to my mom and I was like, Mama, Mama, there's a ghost. And she's like, Yeah, we know. Yeah, it's fucking, there's ghosts everywhere. <laughs> and then I just learned, she's like, I just learned there's just ghosts everywhere. And in Vietnam, it's much more, it's much worse than it is here. She's like, Since I moved to California, I haven't seen any ghosts. But see, there you go, Gio. Know. There you go. Yeah, California is pretty safe. chill because yeah. there wasn't any wars here. I feel like the war zones are mm -hmm. all the haunted places oh. where all the ghost sightings happen. So you could choose to believe me or not believe me, but basically, I got the first night I got. Got sleep paralysis which is like where you're in your body you can see the room but you can't move and you're like not really your eyes aren't open but you can see everything because you're just paralyzed there and there was a freaking dog like a demon dog breathing on me and I can't turn my head I can only just see him on my peripheral and it wasn't a stray dog and you can't scream, no. What was the breed? It was uh, like a husky wolf mix. Oh, those are great. What are they doing yeah. in Vietnam? Beautiful. Red eyes. I always wanted yeah. a husky, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah I yeah, thought yeah. it was a beagle. A beagle? <laughs> a demon dog. <laughs> what kind? It was a beagle. <laughs> the friendliest. <laughs> the droopy yeah. long. Well, I couldn't even pet him because you can't even turn your head. And then so you try to scream, you can't scream. Sleep paralysis sucks. But then I finally got out of it. And I was like, <gasps> and it was so, it was like so traumatizing because like you have to fight your way into your body basically and then I'm like trying to go back to sleep I'm like whatever that's not ghost related we're fine and I start going back to sleep and the TV goes and it just turns Ultra on guys. like the fucking yeah. ring and I'm like I don't want to look I don't want to look why do they wait for nighttime to do all this shit? I don't know maybe the sun scares them because the oh. frequency I think like, oh. The earth changes at night, which is a known fact, by the way. Yeah, it's science. Radio signals, science. Cha radio Monitors. signals can go way farther <laughs> at night because they're not interrupted by. Yeah, so my TV goes on, it's like, shh, like the ring. So it was like and a tube TV. Was it a flat screen? <laughs> it was a flat screen. 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 <laughs> a flat screen. But it you said it went Toom, like that. Type no, no, of no. It like, went like shh, like the white, white noise. noise. Oh. And by the way, if you turn on the TV, it doesn't go to white noise. It goes to a menu. Yeah. Like, yeah. So, so even if my TV turned on, it shouldn't have gone to white noise. It was the, like the TV was fuzzy and snowy. How do they know electronics? The fucking ring. <laughs> They're like trying to get in the TV to yeah. communicate. Blame that, skeptics. Anyway, yeah. so then I unplug the TV and I turn it off and no, the TV didn't come back on, but oh, I yeah, wish it would so you would believe me. Yeah. <laughs> and then I start going back to sleep and I'm like, fuck, that was creepy, but whatever. I start going back to sleep. The light. Wow, you're so it. brave. I, at that point, I'm like, uh, okay, you're sleeping I'm just, in the hallway. I'm oh, just yeah. gonna admit defeat. <laughs> I'm gonna wake up, all the lights on. I'm gonna fucking start praying and just do some. Work. I did that the next night. <laughs> but I was also jet lagged. You know, it was a 24-hour flight, flight, and I was traveling for 30 hours total. That's probably what happened. It was so weak, and then um, so I started going back to sleep. And the light, the outlet next to me exploded like fire. What in like, the uh, fuck is going on? I don't know. Well, it's Vietnam construction. What it's if, the ghost. What if it's like a tourist attraction and you just so <laughs> happen to accidentally book oh, the is. haunted experience? Then they should put a sign on there like, this is the ghost room. And they'll be like, oh shit, yeah, I got the ghost room, you know? Then I would expect it at least. Yeah. So then the. Does your hotel have a sign or is it's just like a building? 
It it had a sign in the in the front, like the name of the hotel. And was it like they a chain, like, like a Hilton or a no, no, no. Or it, well, I think it was a chain, yeah, <laughs> but it was like a Asian chain. It was like uh, it was a Dolmat Plaza. Yeah, yeah. And these were like the villas, so that each everyone had their own like villa. Oh, oh pretty shit. Yeah, and so it was like a private like wow. house thing. Sounds nice. It was cool. It had like a its own private pool and stuff. <laughs> it was really cool. The daytime was really awesome. If it wasn't for the ghosts, it would have been awesome. Happen. So then the light socket explodes and I'm like fuck and then all the power goes off and then I'm like Did that break oh, your no. phone? Was your phone plugged in? Yeah, but it wasn't it didn't break it. Oh okay. But um it yeah, I thought it might have and I was like at this point I don't fucking care. And then the lights, everything came back on in two minutes, but it was like the longest two minutes ever. Just that sounds like a power ever. outage. It was just a power outage. Yeah, you know, it probably was. So I don't just care. The timing was. I'm not yeah. gonna tell you they're ghosts. I'm just saying there's stories, and that's a lot of events to happen all in a row. And then the next night, my grandma visited me in my dream, which you can believe that was just a dream if you want to. But then the next night, I got sleep paralysis again. Last time I got sleep paralysis was like. Three years ago. You get them that often? Three years ago? That's not that often. <laughs> That's often because I've only had it once in my life when I was 11. Oh, Steve gets them like every other night. I don't. I, I do anymore. I do get them quite a bit. Not anymore. Not, 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 not as much anymore, like in the past year, but I used to get them like... You used to get them all the time. You used to have insomnia because he didn't want to go to sleep because he was so scared of when you, sleep paralysis. Did you move and then it changed or...? No, it was... It was a... Uh, uh, Honestly, I got a uh, Jesus candle, and for some reason, I have not been fucked with. You mean like the ones that yeah, they? Yeah, in the 99 cent store. <laughs> I seriously. Dead I serious. Got it as part of a video, it was like a 99 cent haul like years Come ago. Come on, you guys. And then we put it there. It worked, and, dude. I'm scared. Did you get the light? It's some kind of mental no. thing, right? Maybe like I see it, and so therefore it's like makes me feel better. Who yeah. the fuck cares? Like it yeah. worked it for works. me. So yeah. Yeah, don't light it, cause I used to go to sleep at night with those lit, and I would wake up and my nostrils were all black. Oh shit. Oh, really? There's that much smoke in the air? I don't know what the hell's in those candles, but don't go to sleep with those. It's all the fucking ghost dust that you were fucking. Yeah, what were you? Wow. Aren't those meant to be outside? Like when no. someone gets in a car accident and shit, you see all those you candles. You can, outside? but they're not meant yeah. to be outside. Well, that's to help their soul pass. Yeah. Oh. Um, that or you're sleepwalking, like you sleepwalk and you you like fucking candles. <laughs> well, you sleepwalk and then you take black tar heroin up the nose. <laughs> Maybe that's where it is. It's probably the demons. Maybe. Anyway, I wasn't the only person with ghost experiences there. There was another girl who, like, they were in the pool and it was 2 a.m. and like they were it was the after party and so everyone has their private pool so they go back to their hotel pool and they're kind of being noisy and the person next door they see the wind the like curtain go like this and they're like oh shit we need to like be quiet there's someone next door that's trying to sleep so they start getting quieter and then um and then you know they start laughing again and they see the curtain again and they're like oh, fuck we're being loud again like let's lower our voices it happens again and then this guy comes in and he's like hey can i can i party with you guys and they're like yeah come in but we have to kind of keep our voices down because someone's trying to sleep next door they keep going like this and he's like that's that's my villa, wow. and and they're like, oh well, who's your roommate? Because a lot of us had roommates. Oh fuck! And they're no. like, he's like, I don't have a roommate. Oh, I, I haven't been God. home all day. Like I haven't I haven't gone back to my room since this morning. <laughs> And, the, and it wasn't like, I was like, well, maybe it was the air conditioning. And they're like, no, it was like a hand went like this and then like pulled it back like three times. Oh, hell no. Uh, they're <laughs> disturbing the rest of the Vietnamese. Go, I'm trying to sleep, bitch. <laughs> what, was, what did that other neighbor tell you guys? Today's not the, the holiday. holiday yeah. yeah, we were jamming outside. <laughs> Today's not the holiday. Hey, today is not the holiday. <laughs> We're like, what? Because it was like at what, 12 in the afternoon or something? Yeah, right? it's like two or three. It was a work day, like but it was like. <laughs> when that guy <laughs> wants to have fun, he's like, let me check my calendar. Uh, not a holiday. <laughs> Today's not the holiday. Can't do it. So then I tell I tell this to the other people that are there, like the other influencer people. Y'all got scared? And um, I, was, I was like, I don't know. I don't, I've don't. i never seen a ghost. I don't want to see a ghost. I don't know if I believe in them. Ooh. But that, this is what happened. And I heard that Vien Vietnam is pretty haunted, and you can ask the locals, and they're like, they're like, yeah. Of course there's ghosts. I'm like, no way. So they ask the hotel staff and they like use Google Translator and they're like, do you have ghosts? And the hotel staff was like, we're not allowed to talk about that. Oh. <laughs> and they're like, what? What the fuck? And so then they go to another hotel staff. Uh, this guy, he's like, he's been talking to them the whole time. And so they're like, hey, do you have ghosts? He's like, I'm not sure what that means. They're like, Google Translate, do you have ghosts? He's like, oh, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Okay. And then they're like, fuck. Wait, like what? Are, does the hotel have ghosts? And he's like, 
Uh, yeah. They're like, yeah. Duh. And he's like, what? They're like, what rooms? And he gives them a list of rooms, and my room is one of the rooms. Oh man. Uh, so haters. There is. There's your proof. There you go. Here's speculators. Uh, a woman running for city council is defending her online alter ego who sells used panties. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> How did she get caught? <laughs> That's separate from Just her from her ability yeah. to be a good politician. See, I'd like that because, like, you know what? We're just whole people. Is it her oh, used people. panties? We could be professional and sometimes that's we want well. to have sex in a public restroom. We should sell your used panties. Ew, that's gross. How much would you guys pay for uh, some of Nikki's Ew, used panties? No, don't. No, leave it no. coming. Start the bid start now. The bid. They are not for sale. I started at one, one grand. You can't I'll, buy I'll, me. I'll sneak you a pair. You can't buy you me. Lots of dignity, hey. girl. Mm. Right? Tiff, how much for yours? Kidding. She, she looks, this woman literally looks like a tree came to life. <laughs> That's a good zoom one. Zoom in on him. Yeah, zoom in on David. She looks like Steven Tyler. She looks like the she same. She does. It's not a good photo Weezer of this singer. woman. Obviously. It's just an unfortunate photo. Yeah, so she has this alter ego online where she sells used panties and tree. <laughs> tree can't go light, dude. Would it be a willow tree or a pine tree? Something very barky, that's all I know. It's really good. I am Groot. Yeah. Good. She looks like Groot. There you go. Oh my god, I'm gonna pee. Damn. <laughs> Look what you made me do! You didn't have to one up me though. Women helping women, bro. <laughs> see? See? How are you? That wasn't me. Jeez. How empowering. Ooh. We have a female in power <laughs> and you want to bring her down. Yeah. They do. Hey, I supported this. This is why Hillary was not president. All right. Women learn from men, right? Uh, absolutely <laughs> exactly. not. We're stupid, remember? Yeah. I don't know right. why you should. Yeah. If anything, this shirt looks more like a bark tree. Oh, anyway. Nice try. Nice. I don't think nice. he was commenting on her Deflection. shirt. Deflection. Take it away. Deflection. Self-deprecation. See, 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 I'm trying to help her out. Oh, I'm ugly too. Nice. <laughs> Jesus, you just called her ugly, dude. Jesus. Yeah, I didn't say she was ugly. Oh good. This is not good. No, I meant yeah. <laughs> it's without remember, the other, other ugly people. Remember, women have each other's backs <laughs> in this world, okay? Yep. Anyway, anyway. You guys so she has an alter ego named Misty Crockett. <laughs> This is fucking dope. It's like Davy Crockett. This is made up. Yeah. Yeah. And so, well, here, here's Deborah's like running campaign thing. Reno. That's her last name. Oh, okay. Working hard for everyone. Wait, so Demander isn't her last name? This is like, I guess. I know why people are mad. It's like They're part like, of her name. Oh, like she's hard. like the Demander. I don't know. Deborah Demander yeah, like, Reno. Supposed to be in quotes. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. not a good slogan. It should have so. been something like "Smells Like Success" or something. <laughs> <laughs> smells like success. <laughs> you know, something like that. You gotta play with it. Yeah. So then here's like her website where she'll like strip tease. She has strip tease videos. We're under like Misty Crockett. Hey, she has a yeah, she has body. a good body. Hey. Yeah, she's about fifty. She looks like she's wow. Good, good job. Herself. And then here is like, she's like, I'm Misty, USA girl next door, sharing fantasies and fetishes with youth panty buyers and my friends. Yeah, you're definitely not a girl anymore, but all right, let's move on from that. Wow, David. She's a MILF next door. MILF, yeah. That now would that be she's a tree, she's not a girl. <laughs> No. This is not going back to David. You you guys keep the ball in your hand. No, okay? I'm like, what does he mean? But he's allowed to put it no. in there. Okay. The hot potato stays with you. I'm, I'm, what I'm saying is that if you say girl next door, I'm thinking younger. Well, she said girl next door, all grown up and naughty. No, then that's the and milk naughty? next door. That's what she wrote. A knot and a treat. Oh my. Okay, I'm done. No, yeah, you I'm can done. go. You can go. I'm done. We don't want you back either. In the corner. Lock the door behind her. Thank you. <laughs> I know. But yeah, she's like, I spent most root. of my life being a good girl, good little girl, doing as I was told. Um, I have a weird thing though about colors. Uh, so like, I wear a different color on every day, and like, it's very specific to the day and like the date. Shut up! I know so it's, it's really, really weird. Blue. Yeah. So like, I yeah, it's a navy actually. Yesterday mm -hmm. was light blue. Today's navy. Um, but <laughs> yeah. You you plan it out? No. So I've been doing it for like five years, and it like has oh. to do with like when your birthday is, and like it's a numerology thing. But I don't. I'm not like you superstitious. Are a sick <laughs> you are a sick so you're not superstitious, freak. but you're doing it. Yeah, because like <laughs> that means you're superstitious. It helps me pick out my clothes in the morning. Oh, so you you use that as yeah, like, oh yeah, how how funny. Like yeah, yeah. And then I'm like, okay, so now I got these five blue shirts instead of like I have the whole closet, what do yeah. I wear? It's like, okay, five navy blue shirts. Which ones are gonna be today? That's a pretty good method. Cause sometimes yeah. I sit there like 
What the hell? Oh. I never had that problem. I wake up, I'm like, which barbell shirt am I going to wear today? Yay! <laughs> like, this one, this one, and this one. I would say, though, one third of my closet is black t shirts. Yeah. Oh, like, see. Well, you can wear a different colored underwear. Like, if I wear, I mean, I guess that's getting into superstition, though. <laughs> that that is. Bart's yeah, mom yeah. made him wear red underwear for like a whole two years. What? Who? Someone made you? My mom. Yeah. Mom. She would. It's she bought like tons and tons and tons of fucking red underwear. And we would go eat for lunch, and then she'd be like checking. Are you wearing? Are you in the middle of the restaurant? Are you wearing? Whoa. Good. How do you figure out your yeah. colors for your calendar? Like, how okay. did you figure that out? So I like normally don't talk about this because it's really weird. I know that puts me in a strange category of people. Just, I, think it's <laughs> but, um, I thought you were before, but okay, so. so you take your board. <laughs> <laughs> so you take. Oh, <laughs> that's because you've heard me in other formats. <laughs> so you take your birthday and you add up the numbers, um, and then you take the year that it is right now and you add up those numbers then you add up your birthday to the year that it is that's the number your personal number for the year then you take the month that it is and add it to that personal year number and that's the color for the month and then you take the day of the month and add it to the month color <laughs> the month number i have lost all respect for you <laughs> do you gotta hire an accountant to fucking but do it's this really for you? easy because once you figure out one day the rest just go in order so like it's not like you're figuring it out every day how do you figure out the color per number so like one is red two is orange three is yellow oh it follows green. the order yeah it follows the rainbow and it goes till nine, so like when you get to eight, it's pink, and then nine is pastels. So you got some orange shit at home? I do, and the orange could also be switched out for silver or black and white. So every day you just wake up, you go straight to your abacus, like, okay, what do I gotta do? <laughs> <laughs> I used to have the numbers written on the calendar, but that was like years ago, and now it's just in my head mentally, because it's wow. like every day it's That's like in cute. order, so like, I don't ever think about it. I'm like, yesterday I wore this, so this day is this, this day. That makes so much sense. Well, Bar Bar's right, though. I do like women who wear uh, more colors. And give me your lunch money, news. No one's Fuck ever did no. that to me when I was little. Take it from me. We didn't have lunch money. Our parents paid prepaid for the... You get the tickets? Yeah, the tickets. Well, the yellow and blue ones? Not in high school. Yeah, in high school, they had, you had lunch. We were that rich. We were not able to afford high school cafeteria food. That's so expensive. What? You could buy for like a dollar to buy. You get like a burrito, bean cheese, yeah. Like a buck. Yeah. Not at our school. It was like some what gourmet kind of, food. Oh, you went to what? Santa Barbara. Yeah, it was a blue ribbon school. Okay. Uh -oh. What's blue ribbon? It's uh, like recognized by the state of California as being like good test score. I thought it was an ice cream company. <laughs> no, they're thinking beer. Pops blue ribbon. Oh yeah, PBR. Yeah. Um, yeah. No, we had a, a restaurant class that I actually took one year where they would we would make gourmet food. Restaurant class in yeah. high school? Oh, Damn, that's dope. Like, yeah, we would cook like recipes and stuff and Time's out. What kind of food did you have during lunch? Like whatever the restaurant yeah. class made. Apparently she had spam and fucking pickles or whatever. Cause you weren't a rich kid, I guess. Oh yeah, I didn't. No, but they talking about the no, cafeteria. but the, the, the cafeteria part. The cafeteria had like different a different menu every day. I mean, they'd have like the normal pizza, but that was like five dollars. Right. And then they $5 had we had pizza. pizza. We had Pizza Hut. We only had Pizza Hut breadsticks. And then they would have like like some crazy pasta dish or some like ham like specialty hamburger, gourmet hamburgers, and whatever the restaurant class made. Damn. Two lunch ladies have been charged in a half a million dollar scam. What? No way. Yeah, two lunch ladies. You know what I thought was always genius though? Is a lot of the food gets thrown away. I would have saved that shit and fucking resold it. To who? Resold they it. They have those programs. Came at, at the, one of the schools, the average daily deposit from 2013 to 2016 ranged from $18 to $33 per day. Mm, that makes sense to take the larger bills then. Then they start in 2016, they started documenting cash intake differently, and that went up to $93 a day for a 2017 year. And then in 2018, one of the sisters had left for the second half of the school year, and the daily deposit average was $183 a day. So it jumped up Fuck. Yeah. from 18 bucks. I just remembered we had this dope burrito cart at our school that like it only came not every day, it was like every, like, tw like twice a week maybe. And it was this burrito lady, and she made the bombest burritos. They were like these fat burritos, and they were only five bucks. And you would like split it with your friend. So it was like, are you stoned right now? Because <laughs> that was a stoner story and reaction to what <laughs> Tiff just said. <laughs> that was exactly. what I ate it. That you look a little stoned right bought. now. You're continuing a conversation from eight minutes ago. 
<laughs> yeah, that's what I do. That's that is what Joe does. That's a Joe move. That is a Joe move. <laughs> I thought about some dope burritos. <laughs> I know that feeling though, so I'll let you do it. Thank you, Joe. <laughs> Sometimes you got a story that, that must be told. I know. I would, didn't want you guys to think I never bought a burrito from the dope ass burrito lady. Oh, we were we were convinced though that you were poor and you didn't, so we moved on. Yeah. But now we're not I'm not now I want you to know. And you said five dollar pizzas was like only rich people food, but then you said that five dollar burritos, no. totally different story. Pizza slices were this big, the burrito was fat, it was huge. Huge, and so you could chop it and still like be totally full. Five dollar pizza slice? How dare they? Yeah, that's because we had personal. Yeah, pizza. yeah, we had pizzas. personal pizzas too. Oh yeah, that was ten those. bucks though. 